Hello, my yarny friends. Welcome back to Cheryl's Creations. Um, you'll kind of notice I'm a little on the funky side today. Um, this is Spirit Week for um, the podcasters on the, the crochet podcasters that I've been watching. Um, Llama Mama Kayla said, you know, we need to do a Spirit Week. And so I'm jumping on the bandwagon. Today is crazy hair day. Um, when your hair is as short as mine, sometimes it's a little harder to do some things with it. Harder to be a little crazy. So I found a bow that I added. I've got some, I don't know if you can see them. I've got a couple barrettes. I don't know where they've gone. Maybe I lost them. I don't know. There's a, there's a pink one over here. And then I, I had some ribbon that I added. Um, so this is, this is about as good as I can get for hair day. Um, so anyway, it's, it's fun. Um, so bear with the, the floppiness of the bows. Um, so, um, if you have a channel and you would like to, you, you know, jump in. Um, I'm not sure what tomorrow is. Uh, but today was crazy hair day, so I'll have to look up what tomorrow um, is for Spirit Week. Um, so, um, so yeah, I had told you guys, I think in the last video, that I had gotten into a small craft um, craft show on Saturday. Um, it was not a bad day. Um, it was a very... It, it wasn't a big day, okay? Um, I think maybe at most we had maybe 75 people go through. Um, the bigger events and the bigger stuff for the, the little town that I was in was outside. It was over near the park. Um, the goal of the day was to raise funds for the park um, for some upgrades and renovations. The county I live in is doing a dollar for dollar match and um, up to $25,000. So uh, my table space um, and everybody that was there donated a raffle, pro a raffle basket um, and all of that money that was raised was going to uh, the funds for the matching dollars. Um, so you know, being that it was a small, and there was only about seven tables, but I don't think I did too bad. Um, I, I sold about $140 worth of product. No big deal. Table cost me 20 bucks. It was a nice day. So some of the big things or things that did well, um, scrubbies uh, with the, the scrubby yarn, I sold a bunch of those, um, and those always seem to go really well um, in this area, usually for a lot of people. Um, I sold a couple teddy bears, I sold a giraffe, um, I had some stacks of pumpkins that I sold. One of the, the things I sold a lot of was um, like palm size this size of a an octo made out of the the um, the blanket yarn, so the very soft, squishy. Um, had some people buy them for little little tykes, some little people, but I also had a couple people buy them that were adults because as we were talking, you know, the amount of stuffing I put in and the way they're made, they're great even for a, a, a fun stress ball. So I sold several of those. Um, so on the whole, it was a decent day. It was fun. Got to talk to some people. Um, definitely going to go back next year um, and see what they are raising money for um, next year and see if I can help them out. Um, I did do some networking and I will, in November, um, I was able to snag a booth space at our 4-H extension, 
group. Um, they usually have at 300, 350 to 400 people roll through there. Um, it's a big event, so I'm kind of excited, but it's like, oh my, I have a lot to do. So um, I'm going to be kind of ramping up for that. And um, so, yeah, lots of, lots of fun things to kind of venture into. Um, I've got a, a, several ideas of some new things I want to do. So as I go through them, as I do some of the new stuff, um, I'll be excited to show you. So um, the first thing I've done um, is scrubbies. A whole stack of scrubbies. I will, I'll probably do some more, um, but I wanted to start in on some other things. Um, my scrubbies are great. Um, I use the scrubby yarn that you can get at Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby. It's the standard Scrubology scrubby yarn. Um, mine are, I use a six millimeter hook. Um, I do 14 stitches across and 14 half double crochet rows. That's all it is. They're perfect. I can get six of these out of a skein uh, with a little bit of, of, uh, yarn left over so um i've got to start on those um one of the new ideas as i was talking to some other people i've i've looked at some videos on the internet um just to kind of see where some interests are and one of the things was keychains and so um i have this my my box here um, so for keychains I am making jellyfish so they'll be once I get them all put together um, you know they're not gonna be real big but I'll attach my keychain to the top um, and these are made out of bonbons Oops, can you see them um, I actually have several different packages of Lion Brand bonbons. This one is, this one must be just a standard. I can't tell. This one, this package, I don't know if you can see it, but these have a little bit of sparkle to them. So I have some sparkly. These are more of a cotton and these are more cotton but kind of a different color so these are really great for the small keychain projects because with the um with the jellyfish i'm trying to find one of my ends with the jellyfish this is all i have left over so um little scraps of stuff um so they're really great for little things. Um, other keychains I want to do, I want to do a couple bumblebees. I want to do some coffee cups. I saw a video on YouTube as I was searching of little backpacks. They're about this big. You can open them up and you can stick, you know, six up in it, whether it's a chapstick, a quarter for the grocery cart, you know, all of those things. So I want to try some of those. Um, and I'm not sure what else. Um, I don't want to overdo, but I want to have a few. So I'm going to do some keychains. Um, another thing that I have started is from this book, Huggable Amagurumi. I have used this book several times already. Um, it's a series of four, or no, one, two, three, or five, five animals. Um, I have done several of the giraffe, or giraffe. Boy, am I having a bad day. <laughs> I've, I've done several of the elephant, 
and I've done a couple of the of the giraffe and they are absolutely adorable um if you do them with double the yarn like with two strands they turn out about two feet tall i'm only doing one strand um because sometimes sometimes the bigger is not better so they are they are really adorable um, so this morning while I was at work, shh, don't tell my boss, um, I crocheted the two arms and I've got one leg done for a, uh, for an elephant. I might try the monkey. Um, I'm not fond of him in blue, but I think the pattern is cute enough that I'll probably give him a try and, uh, put him up there and see what happens. So, um, so I'm going to do some of those. Um, I'm going to do some more octos. So I'm kind of searching for different odds and ends, um, that I might, you know, that aren't really big, that aren't, um, you know, don't take a ton of time. Um, so that it's, you know, I want to keep things in a five, 10, maybe $15 range. That seems to be what people are looking at with the economy the way it is. High dollar items just don't seem to, um, seem to do well. So um, it's kind of fun to look into new projects. So I can't wait to show you as I, I start getting some of those. Um, what else is going on in my world? Addie, uh, my granddaughter, baby girl, Adeline, um, hasn't been with us for a while and she's asked a couple times. We just haven't been able to get her school schedule uh, to mesh with my schedule so we can do another video. But I might have lost my crochet buddy. Um, her birthday was the first part of September and she got uh, a gift certificate for art lessons um, down at the gallery or at a gallery here in town. We have um, we have a place where uh, the lady who owns the gallery it's called Pear Tree Gallery. Um, she was an art teacher in the school system for lots of years and she retired from teaching and she opened this wonderful shop um, she has paintings to sell she has she does um, uh, photograph reconstruction or fixes you know some things but she also does classes you can do individual uh, you can do group and so um, Addie is doing some drawing because she's really interested in drawing. Um, she had her first lesson last week um, and was so thrilled. And so she has another one this week and um, we're going to get her a couple more um, because it's just such a fun thing. It's such a good thing for her at her age. So um, maybe over the winter as she can't go outside as much, we'll, we'll get her... Um, working on some more stitches, but she'll be back. She'll pop in and say hi. Um, so we're, we're really glad uh, about that, that she's doing something she likes. Um, you know, I think that is about all that's going on in my world at the moment. So um, I'm going to get off of here. Number one, get my house warmed up because we have not turned our heat on yet. And I walked past the thermometer and it was 58 degrees in my living room. So I'm, I'm still not turning on the, the, the furnace. Um, I have one of those uh, fireplaces that sits below my TV. Turn that on for an hour. It'll take the chill off. We'll all be good. So going to get my, my living room warmed up, get my crochet hook warmed up and start in on some projects. Um, so I hope you all have a fabulous day. Um, remember to 
like my video, share my video. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Um, when you subscribe, you get a notification when new videos come out. And um, I would love to have you um, as a subscriber, just, you know, uh, you know, just to, to kind of see all the fun stuff that's going on in the yarn community. So have a fabulous day and remember to crochet away. Bye.